Today, we'll take a look at how to perform tree segmentation in LiDAR 360. 360 offers both the CHM-based and point cloud-based segmentation methods. Let's start with the CHM segmentation. As an overview, to perform the CHM-based tree segmentation, we'll first need to remove the outliers, then we'll have to classify the ground points, and then we'll generate the DEM, DSM, then CHM, and finally, to run the actual CHM segmentation. First, outliers removal. The tool can be found through the toolbox window on the right or through the menu bar on the top. It's under data management and uh, then point cloud tools. Set the desired parameters, give it a good name, and choose the output file location, and then just hit OK to run the tool. Next, we'll classify the ground points. The classify ground tool can be found in the tool box under classify. It can also be found through the menu bar on the top. Now we have uh, another video separately just on how to use this uh, ground point classification tool. Uh, please refer to that video for more details. Once we have the ground points classified, we can now create the DEM based on that classification. The two can be found uh, in the toolbox uh, under surface model. And in this dialog, uh, probably the most important uh, parameter set is the raster cell size, which will determine the analysis cell size going forward. Next, we'll create the DSM. And the two can be found also under surface model two sets. And uh, in this dialog, and make sure you select all the classes necessary to be included for surface model generation. And also make sure the raster cell size matches the same size you used for the DEM. Once we have both the DSM and the DEM, creating the CHM is pretty straightforward using the tool. Now we are ready for the segmentation. Launch the tool from uh, the tool box under Forest Matrix Segmentation, then CHM Segmentation, and set to the threshold heights for the trees. And uh, there's a few other parameters. You can refer to the user's manual for details. Hit OK to run. And bring the date data back into the project window for review. The outputs include a shapefile and a CSV attribute table. Uh, there's uh, pretty much all the essential information you would need from uh, a segmentation. And here's the result. Next, let's take a look at the point cloud-based tree segmentation methods. The steps include remove outliers, classify ground points, create DEM, normalize the point cloud, and finally run point cloud segmentation. The first three steps are actually the same as the CHM-based method we just talked about. And once we have the DEM, we'll launch the point cloud normalization tool from the toolbox or from the menu bar, and just make sure you use the correct DEM for the normalization. Now the data is looking good. Now we are ready to perform the point cloud-based segmentation. 
launch the tool from the toolbox list or from the menu, set uh, the proper threshold values, set uh, output, location, and file name, and then just uh, hit OK to run. Now the point cloud based method may take a little bit longer than the CHM based method. And when it's finished, it will also create a CSV file, but the tree ID will be stored in the point cloud itself. Now let's bring the data back into the project viewer. Take a look. And that's it. Thanks again for watching this GBI tutorial. We hope you like it and find it uh, useful. As always, please send your comments and questions to info at greenvalleyintl.com. And please come to visit us at our website or our Facebook page, our Twitter feeds, or YouTube channel. And uh, there's tons of other good stuff uh, you may find uh, interesting. Bye.